Well, it's time for our children's message, so I hope the kids can gather around. I've got something I want to show you. I want to show you this really official looking document that says at the very top in the biggest letter, it says letter of call. This was given to me by this church, by this group of people here. This is the letter that says they want uh, me to be their pastor. And the reason I know they want me is because my name is on here. At the very top, it says the Reverend Peter Christ. That's me. That's me. That's my name. I'm wondering if you've got any papers or certificates at your house that have your name printed on the top too. You should ask your parents, and, and I hope that today, when you, after you watch this, that you'll go looking for one of those important pieces of paper. Maybe it's a birth certificate, or maybe it's a baptism certificate. If you were baptized here at Prince of Peace, we would have given your parents a nice big form that has your name written on it. And that's really important. Now, you might have a certificate that you got at school for being a good student, or maybe you have a certificate that, uh, uh, for some other reason, from uh, another activity that you did where you got to have uh, your name put on it. So you get together with your parents and you help find one of those, because I think it's really important that you find something that has your name printed on it. Your name matters, and it matters a lot. Now, names matter, and the story that we just heard from the Bible, there's something really important I want to have you pay attention to. In the story, Jesus tells a parable. He tells another story about, uh, primarily about two people. There's a rich man, and then there's a poor man. A rich man and a poor man. And the rich man, it says, had lots of nice clothes, and it says that he got to eat lots and lots and had all they needed to eat. And the poor man had none of those things. In fact, the poor man was also sick and was covered with sores and was miserable. But we know that uh, God gave a name to one of those people. Meaning in the story that there's a name given to one of those two characters. And we're supposed to, those of us who hear that story, are supposed to go, aha, one of these two people is, matters more to God. Now, which person got the name? Was it the rich man or was it the poor man? Were you paying attention? It was the poor man. And his name was Lazarus. We don't know what the rich man's name was. It's like the rich man wasn't important. Certainly wasn't important in the story other than to helping us understand who God favors. God favors Lazarus and wants people like Lazarus to know that they are loved and that love comes to them because they have a name. Now, you have a certificate somewhere in your house, just like I have this certificate here that has my name at the top. And this letter tells me that I know I'm loved not only by this church, but I'm also loved by God. And at the time of your baptism, your name was pronounced, and, and along with that we said, God loves this child. God loves you for who you are, and I name you as mine. Your name matters. And because you have such a wonderful name, we know that God's love comes to you too. So today, when you find that certificate, you be reminded that you are special and you are important to God, and God loves you. Thanks for coming and listening to my story today.